Hey y'all, it's Val here at Crafts By You. Um, yesterday I did the 52 and 22 challenge where um, for our tags, I did the shaker tags and Misty wanted to know um, just how I was doing these. So I thought I'd come on and show really quickly how you can make those shakers um, and alternatives, right? So I, instead of using the big ones, I just wanna start with some short ones, um, small tests. <laughs> I can't use words. Okay, short tags, small tags, tiny tags. Um, but I wanna just say that as far as alternatives, this could be a card front and in this case, I'm gonna use two tags back to back. I mean, it doesn't have to be the same paper, it's just I happen to have that. But um, card front that go, you know, is gonna go on the, the card itself um, so you could layer it up. But essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking two tags. On the back, and I've already put it down, I've got some double-sided tape or tearing, you know, tearing tape, tear tape, but double-sided adhesive. And you could use, um, if you wanted to do this really quickly and make sure it's, you know, on there, you could also use hot glue. You could use Fabri-Tac. You can use a combination of them. But for me, I'm just going to take the tearing tape off for now and show you what I'm doing. I got tape fuzz or something here. Maybe from my sweater. <laughs> But you get some your you get your adhesive on the back. I just need something that's kind of gonna be an instant stick for now. Um, but so that's why I'm using the double sided tape. I don't have a glue gun near me. You're gonna have a piece of the tool. And size wise, I'm trying to do it on this background so you guys can kind of see. The idea is that you give yourself, you know, three quarters of an inch or so on the back so that on each side, it can be folded over onto the tape. All right, so I, this is the non-sticky side, so we'll take the sticky and we will put this down. And you're gonna close everything but one side, right? So we're gonna go starting here, get it on there. And I would say on the larger tags, and that's what I did, I did two rows of the tape. But also, you know, you don't wanna have so much fabric on here you can't make do but let me just show you I'll take this fold it onto the tape um, kind of cut this you know at an angle or sort of like wrapping up a, a present is really how you what you want to think about this as kind of I'm not that great at wrapping presents but you know you just try and you gonna pull it on one side and then just come and give it a little tug you don't want it I mean Depending on the type type of sequins you put in here, that can affect this. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this onto this side. You could trim this down if you want to or not, it's up to you. And leave one end open so that you can put some sequins. So I just got a few over here. You know, you can put some of one, mix it up, layer them in. Let's see, that may be too many but I still need to put another color, so I'm gonna add more, because I'm extra like that. <laughs> All right, so get your sequins in there. I mean, hey, if you hate it, pull it off and try again. There's no science to this. Maybe there is, I don't know what that science is. And just kind of shuffle them around before you get that final seal. It's like you can really kind of get them mixed up in there and then come up to the top. And again, just any extra, extra. I'm not trying to do it like I'm making book corners or anything, so, you know, super du duper solid and sturdy, but I do wanna make sure that these edges are brought in and it's folded over. All right, so we've got that portion, the front side done. So this, like I said, could be your card panel or what have you, but you got it there. The other thing is when you're putting stuff in here, it's good to use either like seed beads or something else that's more rolly that can help things move around. Um, in these, I use, you, you see these little things, they look like flat backs basically, but they're not sticky. So if you have those or my favorite are buttons galore. I don't have any more in here, I use them up. 
but they have these things called sparklets and they basically include different sizes of um oh my goodness sequins <laughs> <Say> confetti <laughs> different confetti no they have different sizes of sequins as well as um, like I said, those little flat backs, it basically just gives it more movement. So just go through your stash, see what you have, but that will help it shake easier. Also, if you don't put 500 little star bits in there, that might help also. But once you have this, you take the back side, and then you're going to adhere the two of them together. And you could do that with more double-sided tape or whatever glue or adhesive you have of choice. I did Fabri-Tac on the other ones, but I'm just going to put this down over it um this dries pretty quickly but you know get it on that center section underneath the tool um but yeah if you have something that's like hot glue it, you know you get that instant stick so it just depends now the only thing i would say about doing it this way is that at the top if you wanted to run ribbon through that center hole then you got to consider the fact that you're opening that up and unless the sequins are large enough that they wouldn't go through that hole um even like if you tied something through it you know sometimes when you put your ribbon through here it's going to be pretty tight but just the idea is you can either staple your your ribbon on at the top or just know that your sequins are going to be large enough they're not going to go through there but like, don't be adding no glitter and then be mad later on. And glitter sometimes doesn't work with the tool because sometimes the depending on the size of it, it'll come through. So that's why I do like having a glitter tool to start with. Um, I'm so country, it's probably coming off sounding like T-O-O-L, but you know what I'm saying, all right? <laughs> so anyway, um, that's it. That's, that's how I did it. And on these, like I said, I did staple it down and then glue it a little bit, but... Um, yeah, I wouldn't feel uncomfortable running some ribbon through that at all. Anyway, that's it. That's all. If you have any other questions, let me know. I hope that explains it. Um, but I would love to see some that you all make. Maybe we need to do a shaker swap. Hmm. Okay, okay. Let me move on. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Thanks, Misty, for asking that question. And I hope that helps. Talk to y'all later.